Hi friends. Today I decided to talk about tiredness. Even now, when I coach people, many people will complain that they have a low energy either in the morning and they fix it with the coffee or in the afternoon and they don't know what to do about that. So tired, it is second most common complaint in the primary setting after bacterial or viral infection. In this video, I don't want to talk about people who actually have a reason to be tired. For example, um, mama with a young child that does not sleep at night and keeps mom awake all night. She has a reason. A person who had a surgery, chemo, and radiation. A, a person who had a stress, such as divorce or death in the family. There is a reason behind being tired. I want to talk about people who just get tired in the morning. They just, I cannot wake up. I don't have the energy. Or in the afternoon, that's most common complaint. So let's talk about that. When person complains about tiredness, every physician will think about six most common causes. Why? And you keep in mind all of six of that. Why? Because some of those causes can actually be so detrimental to the health of the patient. Now, uh, six. Number one is infection. Especially in older people, you think about infection. If they don't have a fever, uh, older person can have interstitial cystitis or just cystitis without the fever. Then anemia. Then Problem with steroid gland, low production of T3 and T4, low B12, low blood pressure, and low blood sugar. So let's go and talk about six of those. The first thing, the first thing to do when a person is complaining about tiredness, laboratory work. Everything else, uh, uh, by the way, and everything is standard in medicine. So Tired, do the laboratory work. Which one? Here it is. Comprehensive metabolic panel. Electrolytes, function of the liver and the kidney. You, you need to make sure that organs, liver and kidney work appropriately and there is no infection there. Complete blood count. White blood cells, again, make sure that there is no infection. Red blood cells, make sure that there is no anemia. Then infection. Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus. For all the men could be testosterone, uh, TSH for uh, to assess thyroid function, vitamin B12 deficiency, again, anemia. I already said several times with anemia. There are many reasons to have anemia. However, we don't want to miss one, anemia due to cancer. So months when the, on the laboratory work, anemia, uh, anemia is seen. Then usually the other laboratory work is added to see what kind of anemia is that, and then it gets investigated. Low, uh, blood sugar and insulin to make sure that there is no diabetes type type uh, uh, one or two. Then C-reactive protein and um, erythrocyte sedimentation rate again to look at the inflammation. Laboratory work back, and it is normal. And person is I'm just tired in the afternoon. This is the time to look into other possibilities. Here they are, the most common, medication. Number two, alcohol and drugs. Three, too little or too much physical activities. Number four, poor quality of sleep. This problem has to be investigated. Person will complain about not being able to wake, wake up in the morning and tired in the morning. So they drink a lot of coffee to keep themselves up. Why a person does not sleep? There are numerous reasons for that. They cannot fall asleep. They cannot maintain the sleep. Um, and uh, they just uh, sleep later. So all of that have to be looked because you are looking for sleep apnea. Uh, the, if, if, if it's not fixed, patient can die. You are looking at the diet. If uh, they drink or eat something before bedtime and they cannot fall asleep, often in all the people or just in, in people, the problem is the sleep that they wake up too often could be pain, like arthritis. In all the men could be BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. When they get up several times during the night, women with uh, menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, will wake up three or four times. Sleep is interrupted. This is the problem. They cannot wake up in the morning. So usually in primary setting, all of that is not very deep investigated. Primary physician will look at the laboratory work, say, hey, listen, everything is fine. That's it. Just go ahead. Uh, continue with your life. 
So they just don't have time to ask questions. Number five, low blood pressure. Easy to diagnose and easy to fix. The diagnosis is if when person is complaining, oh, I'm in afternoon, I'm so low, check your blood pressure. If the blood pressure is low, there is a reason for that. The blood pressure is blood supply to the brain. If the pr pressure is low, there is no blood supply. There is no oxygen to the brain. As a result, the person just falling asleep, right? Or just falling, period. Look at, pa at possible causes. Often it's medication, especially in all the population. Medications, the, the blood pressure medications and other medications. Vegetarians often have uh, low blood pressure. Fixing that, easy. Tell the, the person to eat a couple olives, or uh, a pretzel, salty pretzel. Number six, almost always overlooked, low blood sugar. People on keto diet, on keto diet vegetarians, they um, tend to eliminate sugars out of their life, but we cannot live without sugar. Two organs, red blood cells and brain, have to have sugar. And by the way, I want to stress it again, I'm not talking about sugar like bread, pizza, pasta, cookies, candies, uh, ice cream. It's uh, it's simple carbohydrates. You eliminate them, fantastic. I'm for that. But you cannot eliminate complex carbohydrates out of your life. They are the ones that will keep your blood sugar in uh, blood sugar steady and provide sugar for the brain and for the red blood cells. So complex carbohydrates such as quinoa, amaranth still cut oats, barley, brown rice, buckwheat. So people eliminate. You need to ask a person, what do you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And that's the, it will be very obvious. For example, person may say, I eat for breakfast. Um, two eggs and veg, fried vegetables. There is no complex carbohydrates. There is no sugar in, in the breakfast. What do you eat for lunch? Um, salad and green, grilled chicken. No complex carbohydrate, and so and so on. Liver has only limited capacity, limited amount of sugar that gets stored. If person does not eat uh, uh, sugar, complex carbohydrates, liver does not have it. As a result, early uh, afternoon person is tired. Okay, guys, that's it for for today. If you have any questions, please ask them there. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.